Game of Thrones. Is that upside down? No. Game of Thrones! What's going on guys? James with That's Right Lawn Care. I hope y'all all had a happy new year. I'm getting my day started after running a few errands, but I'm headed home right now. Gonna hook up to the trailer, throw a little bit of grease in the skag and get to it. But today is Pump Monday and let's talk about Pump Monday for a second. What gets you pumped on a Monday? What helps you stay pumped on a Monday? For me, listen to some good old tunes. So today I'm gonna give my review on the plug phones, which I've had for a little while now and I do have an honest review on these plug phones there's a seems to be a funeral going on catch you in a few all right guys that's pretty close to the house anyways when that funeral procession was driving by so I just wanted to go ahead and get back to the house uh, so that we could chat for a second before I get the trailer loaded up um, but where were we so what gets me pumped up on a pump Monday, every day, just about. Listen to some good music. And uh, let me know what kind of music y'all listen to. I So I am not all into your pop country. Um, I do listen to quite a bit of old country. Um, throw some names out there. Tyler Childers, Sturgill Simpson, some of the newer guys that are still keeping it country. Not like uh, some of these new guys that play on the radio station. Uh, Chris Stapleton some guys like that some guys that still have that that country in them that are not being forced by nashville to be all poppy and stuff anyways um uh, listen to a little bit of uh edm some dubstep uh, a little bit of rock a little bit of rap i listen to a little bit of everything i'm open to just about every kind of genre except for pop country and pop and poppy pop and pop i, I like to listen to music you know actual music not not something somebody threw together. I don't know if that makes any sense. I hope it does. Anyways, so we're going to be talking about the plug phones. And uh, this is something that I purchased a while back. I've been using it for pretty much the whole season. I bought it and the Darwin's Grip at the same time. And both were stellar purchases. So before I was using the plug phones, I would use... Um, you know just some other kind of wireless headset never any of the big ones uh, the bulky ones that go over your head I've, I've never cared for those i've tried them before in the past uh, i'm not sure if i just didn't get the the right kinds or if i just i feel like having the plugs in my ears is better than you know having the big uh speakers over your ears or whatever they're called i just i feel more comfortable with just the the plug in the ear it just to me it's a personal preference i guess it feels more comfortable i know a lot of you guys out there are running those big bulky headsets that go across your head and i if you like it awesome you know you found something you like there's grass on the uh on the, not the screen but the camera and it's kind of throwing me off got it and of course before i was using any kind of wireless plug phone i just use the wired ones that connect into your phone but you run into the problems of uh you know they you have to tuck them through your shirt or else any kind of something you come across is going to snag that wire and i think that's why i switched to the wireless in the first place the the bluetooth headsets and i really like the the bluetooth idea because you're not you don't have that cord that runs down into your pocket into your phone into your if i mean if you're wearing a shirt pocket or whatever wherever you have it you don't have this huge tangled mess of cord you have to deal with all the time I have grown fond of the Bluetooth option to a headset. So in the past, and I can't remember the brand names of the ones I used to have, but the Bluetooth headsets that I used to have before, uh, they were, I mean, I'd spend upwards of $100, $120 on a pair of Bluetooth headsets um, just because you get what you pay for in that aspect. But in our, our industry, we need something, you know, a little more stout. When it when it comes to a headset you know something that's gonna we're, we're out working in the hundred and something degree weather uh, 90 plus depends on what area you're in of course but it gets up into the hundreds where we're at and 
you know, we're sweating all the time. You need something that's going to be real water resistant, not necessarily, I mean, waterproof, but water resistant to a degree um, because you're going to be sweating. You're going to get caught in the rain. You're working outside in the outdoors. You need something that's going to be durable. And so far, I've found that the plug phones have been very, very durable. They have handled sweat. I sweat a ton in the summer. Uh, as I'm sure a lot of y'all do as well, but I drink a lot of water and it just runs right through me out my pores. Not, I mean, I do have to pee a lot, but uh, <laughs> getting off subject. Now I found that the plug phones handle sweat very well. I do sweat a lot during the summer as I'm sure a lot of people do, but I sweat profusely. It is uh, ridiculous in the summertime and the plug phones have stood up to it. They do have, and I'll go ahead and break them out. They've been sitting over here on the charger just because I've been out and about running errands and I wanted to get a little bit of charge. And that's what I like about these is they come with a USB-C charger. It plugs into your USB in, on your truck. If you got a cigarette lighter or whatever, you can just about charge these in any car that has a cigarette lighter. So you just plug it in and it charges. See, it's on red right now. It's not fully charged just because I haven't used them in so long. and. I just had a short trip to go get them, get them going. Um, but the charge lasts a long time on these. I forget the exact amount. Of, I think it's like 12 hours after a six hour charge. I'd have to look it up. I don't have the box anymore as soon as I got them. I got what I needed out of them, threw the box away. So when your plug phones come in, what you're gonna see, and of course, like I said, I don't have the box anymore, um, but they just come in like a little pack or whatever. Uh, one thing you do get is this little neck holder is what we're gonna call it the neck holder It's just where it goes around your neck and it has done a real good job of pretty much just chilling there what I do if I'm not um, If I'm if I don't have my plug phones in for any reason, I will Just clip them like that And they don't move. I mean I can be working doing whatever if I'm doing a you know a quiet job where we're just kind of cleaning up some brush or something like that, throwing brush in the trailer, and I've got somebody working with me or the customer's been in and outside, take them off, clip them like this, they won't move. I mean, they, they hold their place really well on your neck with this little neck rest piece. So, and of course that's an option. You can take it off. It just comes off like that. Another thing you're gonna get whenever you order your plug phones is gonna be this little case, uh, carrying case, whatever you wanna call it. It's got enough room where you can put your headphones in. A couple other things that come with it are gonna be, you know, just some extra, some extra plugs. Um, this is an empty bag. I need to get rid of that or else they'll think I'm drug dealing or something. What's in there? I need to get y'all set up to where I'm not holding the camera. There we go, I think that's a little better. All right, so now to have both my hands, I can show you. So you've got the foam ones and then you've got these little rubber ones. So the foam ones, they'll have a little piece of rubber in there that will keep them held on to this little, whatever you want to call it piece. That way, I don't have it all the way on there. I don't even want to put it all the way on there, but that way it doesn't come out as easy. Uh, you pretty much have to pull it pretty hard to get it off of there. But I have since found that these rubber ones fit better for me. Uh, they're a lot more comfortable. They don't they don't tend to irritate your ear hole after a while. And guys, these are pretty dirty too. I haven't cleaned them since last year. Throwing all kinds of little jokes in here. But so far, these are probably the best headset units, whatever you want to call them, that I've used. Plug phones. Is that upside down? Plug phones. I'm plugging plug phones quite a bit in this, but this video is dedicated to my review of the plug phones. And uh, this is a real honest review as I have used them basically all of 2020 season. When you unplug them, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug them. I'm about to hook the trailer up and get to the jobs, but it's got this protector for the charging port, uh, just a little rubber piece clips down in there and basically makes it more water resistant. I wouldn't completely say waterproof, uh, but it does create a great seal over that charging port. And that is, that is a huge deal for us because in this industry, 
you get hot you sweat i'm actually getting warm right now and it's 55 degrees another great thing about the plug phones is they come with a uh, microphone where you can talk into it and if you're out mowing or something and receive a phone call you can click the button on the side which there's three buttons on the side as you can see one's a power and a multi-function button which will answer calls pause the music uh, yada 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 and then you've got volume up volume down and I believe I, I think I've done it a couple of times if you hold the volume button up it will skip the song so and I just listen to music on Pandora I've got my stations all pretty much set and I don't know what more I can say about these guys they've they've been they've been amazing they're comfortable they don't feel like they're all up in my way or anything you're not having to worry about a long tangled mess of cords these pretty much the perfect length one thing i like to do though uh, most people would wear them like this and have these hanging down i like to cross them just keeps them from moving around as much um, it's it feels a lot more comfortable to me sorry if i was yelling i couldn't hear these things cancel noise like crazy uh, which is another great thing about them is the noise canceling these these plugs right here I'm, I'm not sure if that's what you call them as plugs but these plugs right here if you get them deep enough in your ears you can't hear i mean it's it's crazy and the music quality is so good on them as well that's i mean that's another thing you're, you're paying for the quality i think these run about 100 120 something like that so it's right up there with the other price that i was paying for for your high high class sony or whatever i don't think i ever got the beats these have pretty much made me forget about any other brand as far as it comes to uh, headphones working headphones now you know in the house if i if i've got headphones or something like that it's just going to be you know whatever came with my phone so it's going to be a sony uh sony headset wired headset so what i plug into my laptop or plug into my phone if i'm inside but as far as being outdoors, withstanding all the, the, the nature that we go through in lawn care, uh, whether it be the heat, the sweat, the cold, uh, this will be its first season going through the cold, uh, but I don't think it's gonna have any issues. Also, the cable on these is like a, a threaded cable. So it's not a rubber cable or cord like with a lot of other brands. So these are really durable. I mean, you can pull on them. I don't want to pull them too much just in case something happens. But what I'm trying to get to is these things are built strong. They are very durable with with everything that we run into in the lawn care industry. Great for noise canceling if you're doing some, some louder work like chainsaws and uh, hedge trimmers and, you know, some of the louder stuff. Not as, not, not as bad as weed ears and mowers, which are still pretty loud, but, you know, these do a great job canceling some of your louder noises so guys i pretty much talked your head off if you want to stick around i'm going to throw this next yard in the video well i'm going to throw this yard in the video too get a little bit of footage i hope you enjoy it and we'll catch you here in a few all right guys just pulled up this one do a little bit of cleanup uh reason we're so late on this one is they do a ton of decorating for Christmas, Halloween. Uh, they also do like a New Year decoration theme. That's a little bit less Christmassy, but it's only for like a week. But we got such a small period in between uh, all the blow-ups that go up throughout the yard and all the lights and all the wires that run through the yard. I just kind of leave this one alone uh, pretty much until the first of the year. We'll come back through and we will clean up some stuff. Uh, some of these leaves and whatnot, but we'll get those mulched up. But I did want to say I got two new back tires. I kept having issues with the both of the rear tires. This one would um, this one was really bald, and it would it would lose a little bit of air. But it was I mean it was just flat bald, balder than me in ten years. It's ridiculous. And then this one was uh, had something in the tire. I wasn't sure where it was. I. I looked around on it. I didn't ever take it off or anything, but I, I looked around, I kind of felt, I couldn't ever find anything. I knew I'd patched it before in the past, or plugged it, not patched it. Pat, uh, plugged it before in the past, 
and I'd run my hand, I couldn't find anything, nothing was really noticeable. So as I was getting that tire replaced, I asked the guys, I said, can you take a look at that one and let me know what the issue is with it. So he took it off and immediately found a nail on the inside of the tire, of course, door you couldn't see. And it was just a little small nail. He said, I can try and patch it for you, but I can't really guarantee anything. I said, look, man, just go ahead and replace that one too. I'd rather be safe, even though I'm on a tandem trailer. Uh, which means, for some of y'all don't know what a tandem trailer is, you got two tires, dual axles, total of four tires on the trailer, but two two tires on each side. A good thing about that is if you're not carrying, you know, an extremely heavy load or something like that, if you got a tire that's running flat, you can pretty much count on the other tire to get you to your next location or further down the road or wherever you need to go to get the other one fixed. But I said, look, uh, season's about to start up. I just want to go ahead and get that one replaced. Got two new back tires. The front ones, the tread on them are, are good. Let me know if y'all's tires on the uh, on the fronts tend to last a little bit longer than the backs. But yeah, I wanted to go ahead and get some new tires on the on the back anyways. The fronts, tread on them is fine, you know. And these are original tires that came with it. And then these are the new ones, as you can see. But this one was completely bald. So I knew before the season kicked off, I wanted to go ahead and get at least that one changed but with finding that one having the the nail on the inside i need to go ahead and change it too but we're gonna go ahead and get started on this one we'll see you when it's done get on out of here and uh maybe we'll get home we'll conclude the video but i just want to show you an after of this one you saw a little bit i had y'all set up over there on the mailbox but i forgot my little clip so it's not really anywhere i could put y'all to get any good video so we'll continue this at the house all right guys so that's going to conclude it for this one i hope y'all enjoyed some of that mowing footage but i hope you enjoyed my opinion on the plug phones I used them while I was mowing, just out there. I get lost sometimes in the music. Anyways, we'll wrap it up here. Hope y'all had a happy new year. Hope y'all enjoyed my opinion about the plug phones. Guys, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Shoot me a thumbs up. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Perfect. Perfect.